It'll be Gavin Williams, the youngster for Cleveland. And the big man coming off a win at Detroit where he went five innings, didn't allow a run, and he struck out eight. And this will be the first time he's ever started against the Baltimore Orioles. And a swing and a miss. He just said, see if you can hit it. Kowser couldn't. He just threw fastballs by a good fastball hitter in Colton Kowser. And a swing and a liner to deep left, but back goes Quan. He'll grab it. Two down. Now here's Gunnar Henderson, who led the way with three hits yesterday for the Orioles. That is smashed out to the gap in left center field. Freeman gets over to play it, but another rocket from Gunnar Henderson in this series, and the Orioles have got their first hit of the game. And that'll bring up Ryan O'Hearn back in the cleanup spot today. That one is a fair ball. It'll go down the line and left. Henderson around second. Quan has to go fetch it out of there. Henderson is coming around, and he is going to score. It's a double for Ryan O'Hearn. Another two-bagger for O'Hearn, and the Orioles strike in the first inning with two outs. Boy, was that good. That is so good all the way around. Backside bullet by O'Hearn, and Henderson all the way from first base scores, and the Orioles score first in this one. Now keeps the inning going for Adley Rutschman. Now the pitch, and it's it's strike three called a slider back door to one nothing birds middle of the first. Well one of the best pitchers in the game Corbin Burns will work with a one nothing lead. The ERA outstanding it leads all of Major League Baseball out to the hole at second base. There's Jackson Holliday and there's an out of Stephen Kwan full count now to Lane Thomas. Just low didn't miss by much. Jose Ramirez switch hitter batting left handed. Popped up. Jackson Holiday is on this one. And he drops the ball. He throws to second, and they get the out there. I guess he might have lost it in the sun, but at least the Orioles get it out. Runner goes. Pitches a strike, and the throw down is not nearly in time. So 27th stolen base allowed by Burns, and Jose's 21st. Strike three. Burns rings him up on a good cutter, and a runner is left at second base. Aloy Jimenez, the DH, facing Gavin Williams. The 3-1, the other way goes Jimenez. That's a base hit. Down the right field line and into the corner. Aloy trotting slowly to second base, and he'll get there standing. Three hits and two starts for Jimenez, and a leadoff double in the top of the second. How about that? It's a one away, but a man at third, and now here's Kobe Mayo. Making his Major League debut in Cleveland this weekend. He's 0 for 5. Swing and a miss. He really slowed it down with a great curveball. That's been a, a great pitch for him, and that's exactly what he was looking for was a strikeout. The 0 2. Strike three called. Fastball locked him up. What a job by Gavin Williams stranding that runner at third. So Kowser is aboard, and now Anthony Santander. Down the line and left. This is slicing away from Quan, and he won't get there. It's up against the wall. Mancelino holds Kowser at third base, but it's an opposite field double for Anthony Santander, and here come the Orioles. Nobody out in the third, two in scoring position. And it's ball four. So base is loaded, and Ryan O'Hearn coming up to the plate. The payoff. Strike three call. Back door. And Ryan O'Hearn not happy. One down, bases still loaded. Here's Adley. Swing a high fly ball straight away center field. Freeman drifting back. He'll have a play. This is plenty deep enough to allow Kowser to go back to third. He races down the third baseline, tagging to score on a sacrifice fly from Adley Rutschman. And it's 2 0 Orioles here in this third inning. Runners at first and second, and now two down. Eloy Jimenez, the batter. And he lines that one past the dive of Jimenez. That's in the right. Santander around. He's going to score. Aloy Jimenez delivers again. He has got two hits in his many innings, and this one drives in the Orioles' third run. Well, I tell you what, that is a sight for sore eyes right there. 3 0 Orioles. Daniel Schneeman leads off the bottom of the third. Corbin Burns still hasn't given up a hit. Hard hit ball into right field. Guardians have their first hit. Leadoff man aboard in inning number three. That's a way to get it started, to get that leadoff man on, try and get something rolling. Top of the order, Stephen Kwan grounded out his first time up. Neva takes off. He was able to get a huge lead. One of the rare times we've seen a base runner take advantage of the newer rule. He already thrown over twice so he knows if he comes again he's got to get him. Schneeman will get his second stolen base this season and move into scoring position. 
Saquon bangs it up the middle, base hit center field. That'll get the run home. Schneeman scores with ease. So the stolen base comes into play, and Stephen Kwan with an RBI single to center, and it makes it a three to one ball game. Now Lane Thomas and Kwan never wasted any time. He Beautiful. takes off. He yeah. steals second. Now they're really going to be in his head. And I think you're going to see the Guardians do this pretty much all day long. And he got him. There, there go. is strikeout number 1,000 for Corbin Burns in his career. Boy, keep that ball. They're going to ask for it. They're going to throw it in. So Corbin Burns, about 850 innings pitched. He reaches 1,000 strikeouts. And what else? A cutter to the top of the zone like he's collected the majority of the strikeouts in his career. Jose Ramirez, does he get anything to swing at? One swing of the bat, we could have a new ball game. Swing and a shot back up the middle off the glove of Burns. He runs to get it. Throw to first. Wide throw into the dugout. That'll enable Quan to score and Ramirez to go to second. Burns tried to do too much. He tried to make the sensational play. Should have just picked it up and held on. Made an errant throw and that enabled Cleveland to get a gift run. And the Guardians now trail it three to two. We reach the fourth inning. The 1 0. He rockets it down the right field line, headed towards the wall, and it is gone! Jackson Holiday stings one to the seats. A solo home run for Holiday, his second in the major leagues, and the Orioles are back on the board. 362 feet, and out of here in a flash. Solo home run for Holiday, and it's 4 2 Baltimore here in the fourth. Kowser has struck out and walked in two trips. Working on a 16 game hit streak. Ground ball out to the right side. That'll get through. Colton Kowser has got a base hit. So that's a 17 game hitting streak for Kowser. That is now tied with Mancini for the longest hitting streak by a rookie in Orioles history. Two down in the inning. Gunnar Henderson will come to the plate. That one is ripped right field. Lane Thomas going after get this out. one. It's got enough. It's a two run homer for Gunnar Henderson. There's the power from Gunnar. And there's a three run Orioles fourth inning. 105 off the bat, 388 feet. And I don't think it got more than about 30 foot off the ground. A sizzling line drive home run to right center field for his 29th of the year. Six to two Orioles here in the fourth. Locked him up with a fastball. Eighth strikeout for Gavin. And he comes to a close, but it's a loud one for the Birds. One and two to Hedges. The pitch breaks in there for a strike three. A curveball that got the top of the zone. Hedges didn't like the call, but he is caught looking, and there's one away. Quan with an RBI single his last time up. Another base hit. Fifth of the game for Cleveland. Second for Stephen Quan. Only one out runner at second base. The pitch to Thomas. And that's a called strike three. That was borderline at the top of the zone. Two away in the bottom of the fifth. And here's Jose Ramirez. And we're going to the third. Air hand grab. Can't come over to Cleveland. Jose will reach on an infield hit. And it keeps the inning alive for Josh Naylor. Well, he's got a chance to impact the game. One swing and you're right back in it. Swung on and lifted high and deep. Right center field. Goodbye. Home run Naylor. And there it is, that one swing that gets the Guardians right back in it. It's now a 6-5 ball game. Baltimore is still in front. But this one just got very interesting here in the fifth. Nails an eight-game hitting streak, and he has been some kind of hot. Seventh hit in the series, six runs batted in against Baltimore. And for Corbin Burns, first time that he has allowed five runs in an Orioles start. Well, Nick Sandlin is on to pitch as the Orioles. They just keep coming at you. Runners at the corners, two down in the sixth. Now Ryan Mountcastle pinch hitting. Mountcastle in a short center field. Will it fall? Yes, it will. It drops in there. Kowser is in. Henderson makes it to third. Orioles a two-run lead. And boy, it seems like every time the Guardians have scored in the bottom half of the inning, the Orioles have answered right back to keep the momentum. Adley Rutschman looking for a two-out strike. And Rutschman crushes this one out to right field. Lane Thomas what the plate off the bottom of the wall. Henderson is in. The stop sign goes up for Mountcastle. Making an RBI double for Adley Rutschman. And another Orioles multi run in. And they've opened up an 8 to 5 lead. And they're doing it against the best bullpen in baseball. This is a huge turn of events here. A two out assault from Ryan Mountcastle and Adley Rutschman. Jimenez awaits the 2 2 from Samblin. 
Swing and a miss. Chased the splitter away, but two huge runs for Baltimore. It's the Major League debut of the right-hander Connor Gillespie. Now the 0-2 pitch. And Kowser swings and misses. He got a scoreless frame out of it to boot. And his first Major League strikeout, Connor Gillespie gets Colton Kowser. Connor Gillespie, the former Oriole farmhand, on to pitch for a second inning of work. Runner at second now. Two down. Adley Rushman. The 1-0 rolled up the middle. It's through. Around third base comes Anthony Santander, and he will score. It's an RBI single for Rutschman, and it's 9-5 Baltimore. Another RBI hit for Adley as he heats up in Cleveland. The world's fifth reliever of the day, Sir Anthony Dominguez. So up comes Jose Ramirez to try and keep the Guardians' hopes alive. Down four here in the ninth. Chop right side slowly. Mountcastle charges it. An underhand flip to Dominguez on the bag, and that's your ball game. A 9-5 Baltimore win, and after two tough days in Cleveland, a complete turnaround over the weekend. The Orioles earn a split, and for now, they're back in first place.